Hey guys, Gary G coming back at you today for another awesome video. This is another DIY video that I am so excited about because if you are like me, then you know a retractable pressure washer reel is very exciting. If you're out in the field and you're trying to roll up your own pressure washer onto the reel, their hose, it is just so cumbersome. I understand it's a first world problem, I get that, but it's about efficiency here. Now, a while ago, I bought a retractable air hose reel, a Merlin, so it's from Harbor Freight, but it's so heavy duty, and I just started thinking, what if I had a pressure washer reel that was just like that? Well, today I have that. That's what this video is on. And it's also really exciting because a follower of mine, P.M. Detailing, you'll see him right here. This guy here helped me turn this Merlin air hose reel into a retractable pressure washer reel with my Uberflex hose. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm taking this Merlin uh, air hose reel. It's a retractable, which was the main thing I wanted, right? It's an auto retractable. And instead of having a whip here to go to your air compressor, we're gonna use a couple of fittings I'm gonna show all these fittings uh, in the description where you can get them, but this is basically M22 by, I think it's a quarter. I wanna say it's a quarter here. This says M22, one quarter MNPT. So uh, I already had one of these. Um, I ordered the right part, which is the one that turns it into a female. And Amazon said it was delivered and it wasn't. I'm sure uh, you have had that issue too. If you did, leave a like, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have had those issues. So I'm impatient. Uh, I don't want to wait for it. What I have is another one of these. And then I have an extra pressure washer hose, I believe. Let me find out where I put it. So here's the extra pressure washer hose I have. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to connect this M22 to here. This other side is gonna go in my truck to my pressure washer. So what we need to do, we need to take this air hose off, right? We're gonna take it out. And in this place here, we are gonna use that same exact type of fitting, which is right here. Let's go ahead and bust it out, see if I can do it with one hand. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this off, right here, this little part, and this is gonna go in its place. What this is gonna allow is the other end of my Uberflex hose right here is gonna be able to connect there. Let's see this. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull all the hose out. That will actually make this part easier. So let me do that now. Okay, so after all that struggling, I got everything off of here. Like I said, there was a clamp on the inside. Here's that clamp. So now we got our two clamps off. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to just back this off. That's really all I have to do. Okay, so you see I got that out. I'm gonna pull this through, pull this out like that. And now our air hose is officially off. So now, let me go get my pressure washer hose. And I'm gonna get started on the rest. Okay, so one more thing I wanna point out is if you're planning on mounting it like I am, which is this way, then what you're gonna have to do is take these four bolts out to where you can move this to face this way. So basically it'll be facing like this, but the mounting point will be down. And the way that you do that is just literally by taking these off, right here. Okay, so I got everything switched here. Everything's turned around so I can mount it just like this. Have the pressure washer hose come straight out from there. Here is gonna be the trick. The trick is to see if this end here will actually fit through this hole over here. Right here. Bam, it is just barely too small. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to manhandle this a little bit to put it through there. I'm gonna go ahead and bend it out a little bit so I can get this through there. We'll bend it back in. Okay, 
So you can see I bent it a little bit. I bent it a little bit to get it in there. You could also do a little bit of grinding if you want to get that to go through there. I literally just did a little bit of bending so it shouldn't be that difficult for me to um, put it back the way that it's supposed to go. So we got this fitting here, like I told you. What I'm gonna do is I am going to use, I was trying to use the one that I already had. Yes. So I'm gonna use the one that I already had. I'm gonna put some Teflon on it. Remember to wrap it with the threads. Usually it's whatever way feels awkward to you if you're right-handed, <laughs> it's this way. So we're gonna wrap some more Teflon around here. The second fitting, I'm gonna do the same exact thing too. I'm gonna to wrap some Teflon around it. So what we need to do is we need to get this pressure washer hose onto this fitting. Okay, so this hose needs to go through here. Okay, just so we're clear, this little piece on the end the hose, if you're using an Uberflex, is smaller than the air hose. So in order to get this bump stop to go correctly, it needs to go over this little guard here. That's how it's gonna grab properly. So what we want is to pull it like this and have it stop like that. All right, all right, here we go. So what you see here now is a fully functioning pressure washer, retractable reel, using a 50 foot Uber Flex hose. I replaced the bump stop here. It's on a Merlin retractable air hose reel. All that's left to do is to put this in the back of my truck right there, hook up this whip, not this one, that one, like I said, I'm too lazy to wait for the part, too anxious, so I wanna use that for now. I will switch it over to that. All it is is this part, but the opposite. So same thing, it's just gonna be a female, and then this right here would go into it. That's the only difference. So I'm gonna put a link for this and the part that makes this work, because this is gonna be better. It's way shorter than that. I, like I said, I'm just doing it because I need to get back to work tomorrow. So let's go ahead and hook that up, man. Let's mount it. All right, guys. So here it is, man. Sorry about the generator noise, but I got to run the generator to use this. But what we have here is our pressure washer hose reel right next to the air hose reel. Unfortunately, I had to use my other Uber Flex hose here to connect to the pressure washer. That's only going to be until tomorrow when I get the fitting that I need for that other whip. But for today, there it is. Check this out. I can pull it out as far as I want, like this. Let's see. Okay. And then. What I wanna show you is this little fitting right here, in there, that whole spot leaked a couple of drops of water until it reached pressure. So here, I'm spraying it. There we go. And then if I want to rein it back in, money. If that ain't money, I don't know what money is. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming back to another video. I'm very excited for this. Like I said, for 150 bucks, you can make a retractable air hose reel, couple of parts. You gotta get about three parts from Amazon and then the air hose reel from Harbor Freight. There's a Harbor Freight by a lot of people. They regularly stock this Merlin reel. They have other ones. There's a yellow and black one that's about 30 bucks less um, that you can actually use as well. So if you wanna save a little bit of money, you can do that one. This one is just a little bit heavier duty. So that's why I bought this one is because I know I'm rough on stuff. I'm gonna break stuff. So I would rather have the nicer one. So 
Anyways, all the links are in the description. Make sure you guys follow my social media accounts. Okay, stay slick auto detail on everything. Okay, if you're a potential customer in the Fresno area, stayslickdetailing.com has all my prices, packaging, everything that you need to know to get a hold of me, and then I'll go ahead and take care of you like I did this customer here. Thank you guys, all my Stay Slick family. I appreciate you guys as always. You guys have a great day. Peace. Stay slick. Let's get it.